Hello, it's Tune In Tuesday and I'm out here in the lavender field because I just can't get enough of it this time of year. All these plants are bursting with life and even though they look like they've gotten a ton bigger since I started taking pictures this spring and they were dormant, um, they're still going to get even bigger. I mean, before you know it, these spikes will be as tall as my hand, which is like another foot 18 inches <laughs> higher than the plants themselves and covered in beautiful flowers and smell like heaven. And today for Tune In Tuesday, I have been thinking about the topic of inner conflicts and or um, where we have two states of being that we can't resolve, right? That um, sometimes that uh, takes the form of of self-criticism like oh I want the, to have these two experiences and I can't decide between the two or I have to pick one and I have to let go of one um, or I would like it both to be like my property I'd love it to both be wild nature because I love wild nature and then there's this point of which certain areas you want to have um, no weeds and not um, as wild as nature is <laughs> and then there's this conflict of how much can I surrender and let go and allow it to be what it is relative to how much do I need to control it or need to work 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 to make it be look or be the way I want it to be so as I was thinking about this I thought well there's so many areas in our lives where we have these sort of inner conflicts and on a regular basis we need to resolve choices to make um, and places where we have something that we desire and then we have something else that is asking us to accept it as what it is and they come into conflict. So as I was contemplating it for the three days, I was working my butt off here on the farm Friday, Saturday and Sunday doing fix-it projects and trimming back lavender and pulling weeds and preparing my barn and house for the painters that are here, I was realizing this inner conflict within myself that was like, I want to have it all this way. And it's too much. It's more than an energy that I have. It's more than is rationally possible. And I had to come to peace with what is? Let certain things go and make peace with the inner conflict I have about like that, that state of wanting things to be wild and free, <laughs> wanting myself to be wild and free and wanting my, you know, space to also look beautiful and have its, you know, all the weeds pulled and all the, all the, um, all the things in the right place and balanced out visually because I love that artistic sense of beauty. So I just invite you to notice that in yourself. Where do you have these conflicts where you have an expectation and a desire and then it's hard to let go of and you're, you know, you find yourself not enjoying the present moment because your expectations are overriding your peace. And as you probably saw, I had this encounter with a little peace dove while I was working in the lavender field this weekend. And it was a great reminder of me to get back into my state of inner peace. I was really feeling peaceful when I was doing the one task and just focused on it rather than focused on all the things on my list that I haven't got to yet. And all my expectations of myself that are looming around me. So this Tune In Tuesday, that's the invitation is to notice where you're getting in your own way of inner peace and with your expectations of yourself or what your expectations of the universe around you, like how your, how many weeds there are, whatever in your life. And um, take a moment to be in the present, to just really be present with whatever is happening at this point and surrender because that's all you can do. We can only do now. And when we surrender, we actually allow ourselves to really enjoy what's happening in the presence of our universe. And look at all this beauty, you know, take it in. Hopefully you'll be here to celebrate it with me. Those of you who are coming for the retreat, it's gonna be amazing.